Good morning. So here is a recap from Monday. Um, so with Miss Willow, we worked on uh, assessing how much boredom can we tolerate. <laughs> um, and we also ran through all of our skills just to get her mind engaged. Um, she was not a fan of this. Um, she wanted to go. She wanted to say hello. She wanted to get treats. She wanted to do commands. She did not want to stand here and watch the world go past. Um, I know one of the things that we talked about in our initial eval was doing boredom training. <clears throat> so this is one of the ways that I like to work on it was where um, I put the dog in a semi busy space that has, you know, some type of distractions and noises <clears throat> and they're attached to me on a belt leash. Um, now, you can do this in two ways. One, you can command to place command, and we work on duration. But you can also do it unstructured, where you don't give the dog any parameters, and you reward when the dog is calm or settled. Um, this really makes them have the ownership of doing it and doing it well. Um, so about every other time uh, she sits or settles in some capacity, I'll give her a treat, but I also mark every time that she does settle. Um, this is sped up. <laughs> um, it is uh, an eight minute, 10 minute clip um, that's sped up and snipped, <laughs> so you can see. So we didn't do it for too terribly long. Um, and throughout this time, for the most part, she would whine, she'd talk, she, you can see her jump up and wiggle and kind of do a little bit of a, a mini alligator roll just of like, I don't like this. Um, but this is where we teach her. When I'm calm, I get rewarded. Um, doing this a little bit throughout your time are really going to make a huge impact. Um, I would honestly say watch a show on Netflix and put her on the leash underneath your foot. And once the show's done, okay, she can go off and snuggle with you or go play or something along those lines. Um, even just like, it's going to sound silly, but put her on a slip lead, brush her teeth, and then she gets to come off the slip lead. Having a little bit of structure with the slip lead, but having it be where it's not commanded in a place or anything like that will help her brain work through boredom training. Um, but she's a smart kid. Um, and she did, honestly, for her first day, she, she did pretty well. Um, I've had puppies her age um, and similar breeds that just alligator death roll on me and just have absolute just not wanting to do it. So she she tolerated it. Um so this is where we build it up. So now um, this is a clip for a little bit later. Um, we worked on some play disengagement. Usually when I do boredom training or something that's really difficult or a high threshold for the dog, I try to make sure that we have an equal value of play or release. Um, so here we're doing some play disengagement. So I'm gonna get her crazy, we're tugging, we're pulling, and then I will call her name and tell her leave it. The moment she sits and looks at me, um, she gets rewarded with the toy being engaged again. Think of it like a pause button. So we're still playing, but we're playing with some boundaries. We're playing with some parameters to help her have success. Um, I also was just running through her skills to see how she'd respond to them and what her focus was. Um, you, I think we've talked about it, but man, do you have a smart kid here. Um, she's very anticipatory and <laughs> really knows her basics. It's just about building up those thresholds. Now, right here, I was working on a leave it with a toy. You're gonna see me fail. Um, I like to ensure <laughs> partly out of humor, but also um, realistic situation is that it's okay to fail when you're working in training. She snags both treats twice on me. Um, I wasn't fast enough and she is very persistent when there is a treat involved. So this is where um, I shift gears. Okay, can we leave it and walk around the item? Can you ignore it and see how she responds on the leash? And when she focuses, then she gets to have that reach reward. Um, it's okay with failure happens. It's just about how we pivot from it. Now, the last thing I worked on her is place, just working on the command structure. I'll have more details for you down the road, but essentially I teach place as your duration command, so like a stay. Um, I teach it on a 3D object, so dogs understand they're kind of think of it like dog island, and then we can put her on anything um, and build up to, it can be on the ground, it can be on a chair, it can be on a bench, it can be on a place cot, it doesn't matter, wherever you put her, she's she's stuck there. Um, so this is where we're just working on the structure of, I go on here, I pause, and then I get released with a 